Hi, this video is going to show you where to find the project board for the hackathon and how to use it during the hackathon. I'm now going to share my screen. So first you go to GitHub and in GitHub, the easiest way is to search for NF core. And then you will find the, well, any, any NF core repository really. And you go to the main NF core page. On this page, you will find here the title projects. You go on this one and within projects, you should see a project board called NF Core Hackathon March, 2023. If this one, this one still exists, just ignore it. We're looking for this one. And this is where you get to the project board. This is how it can look like. Um, you will have here all the different titles um, of the issues and open pull requests that people want to have review on. And uh, people can be assigned to that or unassigned from that. Like in this case, I can unassign myself, I can assign myself. And they will have a status. The status is either to do, in progress or done, or there's no status at all. If you want, you can also add um, other fields. One that maybe come in handy as labels. And here you see all the labels that were attached to this uh, pull request or issue. Uh, this is the general board. You can also change this into a different view. Uh, so now it's in table view, but if you prefer to have this in carts, you can do this too. And they will be um, separated by the status of the different carts. And uh, if you en uh, enabled labels, you can also see them down here. Um, as you know, we have different groups and each group has their own board. So um, if you see them here, these are different tabs. And uh, if you go on these tabs, again, you can change this into a card view. And within these different tabs, if you add the labels, you will see that all of them have the label specific to their group. So all these should have in, in, in one shape or another uh, the, the, the card or the label module. Here, they should all have infrastructure label. So you see here infrastructure um, or documentation. They will all have the documentation label. Now, um, this is how you can uh, look at them. Um, if you are interested in a specific one, you just click on them and then you will get an, an overview of what happened last in here. This is not extensive. So if you want to have a bit further look into the issue and to decide either if you want to take it or what happened, you can click on the title and then it will take you directly to the page of the issue or the put to the pull request. Um, yeah, so you can assign yourself either here on the board, if you go back here, uh, as I showed you before, but you can also assign yourself on this page by adding yourself here as a signee. Um, if you choose to actually use one, I would ask you not just to sign yourself, but also to change the status from to do to in progress. And when you're done with this card and it is uh, merged or um, the issue is solved, then you can choose the done label. This is very important for us so that we don't pick it up again. Uh, and that other people know that this one has been already dealt with. Please also choose only one issue at a time, if possible, uh, so that other people have the chance to pick up other ones, because everything that is assigned to a person and is in progress, no one will actually, um, or no one is supposed to look at, except if there's someone actually actively looking for help. Um, yeah, so how can you add issues to the board? There are two main ways to do it. One would be to use this plus sign here uh, and just add a free uh, text issue. But uh, the preferred way actually is uh, you already have an issue, let's say this issue here, and then you can add this on the projects to the board. So, um, you go to projects and then you're looking for the board that is interesting for you and then you just add it to the and it will appear on the board. Um, if you're at a point where you can close an issue, there is also different ways to do that. 
the easiest way is probably if you're on the board anyway, um, if you go and scroll down here and say you close this issue. You just press this button and it's done. There is also another way that doesn't involve the board at all. And that would be if you're putting in a commit that actually solves the issue, then you can write in the comment fixes and then the hashtag issue number. So in this case, it would be 1067 in your commit message. And as soon as this one is merged to the repo, then it will automatically close this issue. So um, if you have any more questions about this, then I would say you, you go to, uh, and of course, Slack and um, use the Hackathon March 2023 channel to ask for help. And, uh, or you ask your teammates around you if you're in a hub. And you can also, of course, uh, always ask someone in Gathertown that are sitting around your table. So thank you very much. <laughs>